Hello, it's Sarah. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, what are they calling it? Uh, I don't know. Galentines, right? Happy Galentines or Valentines. Anywho. Um, this is kind of cute because I got some more happy mail. This time it was from Dana Yates. And right next to me is this big box. Look how big. So she sent me, I just pulled a few things that I wanted to share specifically. Flowers and wood bits and bobs. A little um, chipboard um, photo album. Lots of these little die cut woods, frames. This one is a little... Um, locks and keys these are brads so dana thank you so much little wood embellishments all types of stuff but i wanted to share stickers and but here's one of the look at this she sent me two distress oxides which i have never tried um you know i mean they're supposedly definitely different than the tim holtz distress inks so, and I have some Distress Inks, and I haven't been um, buying them lately, and I definitely didn't buy any of these, so these are the first ones I have. Um, this is Black Soot and Picked Raspberry, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the difference is, and I like pink and black. Pink and black together is a very, very nice combo. Um, she sent me, oops, a pocket letter. So this is a Valentine's pocket letter. Remember pocket letters, guys? And I'm sure some of you are still doing this. And it's just super cute. It's all Valentine's-y. Each one could be, it's, they're all ATC size. So first of all, each one is its own creation, a little piece of artwork. Look, a little, I love this one. It's a um, shaker card type thing, right? So... You can see the little tiny sequins in the in the mason jar. I love this one. See, I haven't done any of this type of paper. Oh, and then in, in the back, this is the other thing about pocket letters. So I got stickers and bling. Is you first you create all these little ATC pieces that go in the front in a theme usually, or or it can be whatever. Um. And then in the back, you fill it. Well, let me take out the back stuff because I think I'll be able to get it in here easier. And then in the back, behind each card, you can put different bits and bobs that you want to share. Look at that. That you want to share with your crafty buddy. So I got more stuff back here. So let's turn it over and have a look. She also made a little shaker in the middle, and it, it came unstuck, Dana, but um, it's all sequins and big sequins and love, and um, so I love it. But then when you flip it over, look, this is one thing I'm super excited about. She must have die cut these on her Cricut, or, I mean, I don't know. I'm just thinking that's what this is. And I'm thinking I could absolutely glue these onto um, this wood that I bought to, go, to, to, to try and do some wings. Hold on. It's here. Oh, here it is. Look. Perfect. So I bought this wood. This is from Hobby Lobby. And these are super thin, like balsa wood, right? So I could actually either trace... I could probably do two on here for sure. So you have to make sure you do one of each side. So put them on there. Trace it on, or actually, I might even just glue it. And then guess what? I have wings because I can go downstairs and cut around this. And then I've got a blinged out, really substantial wing. So I have those, a bunch of them in gold, and a bunch of them in um, just uh, card craft paper but I can always um, emboss this one so thank you Dana for that and then you write a little note so she wrote me a little note 
Just want you to know I enjoy your videos. I only wish I could paint like you. Um, your honesty and willingness to share your daily struggles makes a difference. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your pocket, pocket letter and goodies. And I do. I love it. I love, love, love it, and I love Happy Mail. So, yeah, it's just been a while. I haven't gotten a pocket letter in forever. Some more wooden embellishments, some more blingy stickers, more bling, wooden owls, um, washi. So she sent me that. But then... Wait, that's not all, you guys. I wanted to share. Set that here. She sent me all these charms. So I got some Christmas snowmen. So it's just random bits and bobs that you can just put in the back to share. But lots of really nice, good quality charms. These can be embedded into polymer clay or just put on like this is actually double-sided this little turtle sea turtles so I think it's like oh look at this dragonfly like I don't have anything like this I have I have a dragonfly out here somewhere anywho I didn't have something like that Christmas bells another um, and then this one looks like Christmassy stuff too look at these big scissors so lots of ideas for oh snowflake star starfish pine cones so yeah i mean a huge assortment of oh look at this one a piece of fabric with a little bling on the end i like putting these on like you know what you use these on is your um i like to make these on my um what are these called midori's right and you can make a little dangly out of just like a bunch of if you love sea turtles make them make a thing see look this has an owl so yeah thank you dana like this stuff gets me excited because i love the dimension of it but guys that's not all and then some of the sequins just fell out of the um back of the pocket letter look at these so i haven't seen these in my stores but i mean these are again just some more of those um laser cut wood pieces but i was thinking I could do a simple little um, art doll on here, right? Just to keep it smaller. Maybe a little petite one. Maybe a, I don't know. But they're super pretty and they're two different ones. Then she sent me this um, stamp set. It's called Sentiments. And it's close to my heart and it's for my friend. So look, she, she taped off this one which says for my friend. But it's just Sentiments. Happy birthday. Congrats. Miss you like crazy, love, sorry, um, cheer up, stuff like that. So that's awesome, acrylic stamp set. And then this, this is something I also wanted to share. These are by Recollections and they are color splash watercolor crayons. So I'm assuming this is similar to um, the Tim Holtz ones, because, you know, Recollections, I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm looking for, what do I have? I can never remember the names of things. This is, um, Neo Watercolor 2s, right? So these are the ones I bought, a pack of these, Karen Dash Neo Color 2s. Um, and then I have never bought the, um, Tim Holtz ones. I think Dina Wakely might have some now, too. Water Soluble Crayons. So I'm really looking forward to trying these out and seeing what you can do. Scribble sticks, that's the name. I think they're called scribble sticks, the um, Tim Holtz ones. But um, I'm sure these, and then there's also gelatos, right? So there's lots of different styles and forms of this type of thing. But... So let's just see. I think it's a a screw up and down type thing, right? And then I should have a um, oh my gosh, that has a definite sheen to it, like a sparkle. I don't know if these are considered sparkle, 
but let me add some water just real quick. Um, I just need a regular old flat brush. My water is filthy. I haven't changed it. Oh, see, I put the dirty water on there. But look, you can really spread it around. And this is actually on a non-sealed tag. And it does have kind of like a sheen to it. So I'm excited to try those. So Dana, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all my goodies. I really, really appreciate it. And you guys, listen, I, I'm good. I don't need all this good stuff. But I will try to use it. Trust me, it will be in my stash. And I look forward to trying it in one of my mixed media presentations that I do. So, all right, you guys, I just wanted to share that real quick. Thanks for watching.